What's going on, everybody? This is Broken Games HDR. So we've got some interesting news and information coming from an interview with Jim Ryan, who is the PlayStation president and chief executive officer. So in an interview, he confirmed more PlayStation games are headed on PC, and he specifically name dropped Days Gone, uh, which will be going to PC, most likely Steam, this spring. And his quote, this was the official quote, I believe, a whole slate of them is on the way, starting with Days Gone this spring. Uh, I believe that should be a whole slate of them are, but the article says is. But anyway, um, so that means there are more PlayStation games. Most likely he's referring to PlayStation 4 games uh, that are going to be headed uh, to PC. Uh, maybe a slight possibility of uh, PlayStation 5 games that have already released, but I think it's most likely going to be older PlayStation 4 games, and I'm going to talk about exactly what I think they're doing and, and how they're going to do it. So Days Gone released April of last year. No, no that, it was April of two years ago. I don't know why it seemed Days Gone launched last year. It was actually two years ago in April. So by the time this launches on PC, it'll actually be two years. Time is really flying, especially... You know, COVID is slowing stuff down and speeding stuff up at the same time. It's weird. So I remember on an episode of Weapon Wheel, it was this episode of Weapon Wheel might have been like a year ago or a year and some change. And I remember Porter Rock and Dark Cloud uh, was on that episode. And um, one of the Weapon Wheel archivists can probably find it. And one of the things I said, because I, I believe this was around the, the time or around the time of rumors and discussion that PlayStation games would be headed to PC. This might have been before Horizon. This was definitely before Horizon dropped um, or maybe before Horizon was even announced for PC. I can't remember exactly what sparked the conversation. Um, but I remember saying specifically in that conversation, because it was very, you know, it was a very interesting and polarizing conversation that I believed, yes, they would be dropping PC games, um, uh, PlayStation games on PC, but I just didn't think that they would be doing it day one, which obviously th we haven't seen any, any uh, you know, example of them doing that because I believe this is their plan and I don't have any problem with this plan, is they, after a year or two years of some of the PlayStation exclusives uh, no longer selling, when the sales have completely dropped off, off a cliff, right? There's no surge in in sales like even when you drop the price and every after you drop the price a couple of times and everything like that and it seems like you know um there's really no reason to keep the game exclusive put it on pc help it get a you know a little bit of a sales surge get like a a second round of sales on pc i think that's a that's a great idea because at least from a company standpoint from a consumer i don't really care i'm gonna probably play the games where I prefer to play them at the, which will usually be PC. But if I have to wait a year or two years to play a game, I'm probably not going to wait that long. There are a few exceptions like, like with Neo, where I waited, Neo 2 specifically, I waited a year to play that, but I probably wouldn't wait two years, right? If the game is, is, is in a viable condition, right? Uh, visually frame rate, uh, resolution, all that stuff, as long as that's okay, then I'll probably I'll, I'm probably okay with playing it on on a console, um, but Neo the first Neo was like 900p or something wild on PlayStation uh, 4. That's why I actually waited on PC to to get it right. So back to my point, yeah, I think they're they they're gonna wait for sales to completely die off, wait a year to two years, and then re-release the games on on PC because from a company standpoint, it will get it will still um uh you know pre kind of like make people have to buy a playstation because there are there are the there's the crowd who will want to play these games day one like me for the most part i'm gonna want to play these games day one i'm not gonna wait i'm not gonna want to wait to play uh, uh these um playstation exclusives you know the ones i really like i'm not gonna want to wait a year to two years to play them for the most part that's not gonna happen right and then there's the crowd who doesn't mind waiting, who maybe won't ever buy a PlayStation. So after a year or two, you then give them that game because the game wasn't selling anyway. So that's probably how they're going to make the most, the most profit and squeeze the most out of these games. 
And I, like I said, I don't have an issue with it. I mean, I wouldn't have an issue with it either way, but uh, I think there's an optimal way for them to do it. So I personally don't see them dropping brand new games day one, or some people like to say day and date on PC and PlayStation. I'm not saying it's impossible. I just don't see it. I think they will continue to release games exclusively as, as of right now on PlayStation 5, and then in a year to two years, release it on PC. Some people think that for example, with Horizon, them already putting Horizon on PC for PC uh, players to, to experience it. Then Horizon 2, for example, they will make it a, they will launch it on PC and PlayStation simultaneously. I don't think they're going to do that, right? Same thing with Days Gone. We know Days Gone is going to uh, PC, PC in the spring. If they make a Days Gone 2, I personally still think it's going to be exclusive to PlayStation. And then like a year after Days Gone 2 will go to PC. Like I said, that's just my prediction. That's my thought. That's how I see them doing it. Um, until they show me something else, that's going to be, you know, how I think they're going to handle it. Either way, doesn't really matter. But there are definitely some games I would, I, I'm, I'm, would welcome to PC, especially if it reinvigorates the player base. For example, Killzone Shadowfall. Yeah, I know I'm one of the only people who enjoyed Kill... Well, you know, yeah, I'm one of the few people around here who enjoyed Killzone Shadowfall multiplayer. But if you put it on Steam and it gets a new, a new fan, a new, uh, you know, player base because it's pretty much dead on PlayStation, yeah, I would definitely play that. But I don't think they're going to do that. There's, I think there's certain titles that, that they know are popular enough and I don't think they're going to waste their time putting everything on PC. Like, like, for example, like Infamous, yeah, I think that's going to PC... Killzone, probably not. Knack, probably not. Because these games are just not popular enough. They weren't a hit. I think it's going to be the blockbusters, like the real quality flagship titles that uh, sold well. I mean, Last of Us, probably I could see. I mean, I could see that probably going to PC. Um, even Last of Us 2, like I said, I think PlayStation 5 titles will also go there eventually, like a year or a year or, or, or two after its initial release. So I, I see that happening. I don't like I said, I don't see it. I don't see it being every PlayStation exclusive title. I mean, listen, they should put dreams on there. <laughs> listen, they should put dreams on there yesterday because dreams is very much a, a, a type of game that a PC crowd would play and keep alive and, and pay for. That's that game did not do well on PlayStation, right? It got a lot of hype from PlayStation dudes early. And then after that, it was kind of, you know, it was kind of dead and gone. But that's that's something that's right up PC gamers alley. That that type of game. So Dream should go on there. Um, Def, I could see Ghost of Tsushima on there. I mean, Ghost of Tsushima is uh, it's a year old year old. That, no, it's not even a full year old. Uh, so this this fall it will be a year old. So maybe maybe after it's a year old, they'll probably announce that for PC. So yeah, their heavy hitters are probably going to go to PC eventually. Like I said, I just don't think it's going to be day one. But let me know how y'all think about this. I see a lot of PlayStation fanboys losing their mind and having conniptions and, you know, being pretty upset about this. They're, they're kind of salty and, and, and mad and, uh, you know, they, they're losing their breakfast and throwing up. And uh, listen, it's, it's going to be y'all going to be OK. I promise y'all are going to be OK. Everybody check on Jack move from time to time today. Make sure he's all right. Let me know what y'all think about this. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. Check out Weapon Will Podcast this Sunday. Uh, support. The Weapon Will Patreon, hit the join button to become a member of the channel, and hit yeah, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. I'll catch y'all on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.